Hello Techies, welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with XML actions as part of Power Automate Desktop. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language, which is used to describe the data. The main purpose of XML is for structuring data. XML makes it easy for a computer to generate data, read data, and ensure that the data structure is unambiguous. Let me show you a small example over here, that is students and teachers.xml. If you see on my screen, I'm having an XML with the name of students and teachers.xml. The XML extension is .xml, and you can see over here, in the XML, there we are having tags and text. You can see over here, the student teachers in the tags, and after that, the text, if you see inside that, that I am having James, Smith, Amir, and these are all the text that what we have. The text in the file that you wish to store is surrounded by these tags. Over here, if you see, I'm having students and teachers information or data that we have. If you see, the parent node is students and teacher. And after that, that I'm having child nodes over here as student and teacher. Inside that, again, I'm having each and every student name that what we have. Inside the teachers, I'm having student information with the name of name and address. You can see these are all the tags. And inside the name that you are having first name and last name. And in the address that you are having street, city, email, phone. This is the address of the students and the teachers information. Now, by using Power Automate Desktop, how can I go ahead and read the data? Let me switch to Power Automate Desktop once again. If you see the actions over here, under the action that we are having XML actions. To read the data from the particular XML, we are having the action called read XML from file. So what it will do, it reads the content of the particular XML file what we have. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. What it will do, it will read the data from the particular XML and it will read and it will store the data into a variable. If you see the parameters over here, I'm having file path and after that, that the encoding. First of all, we'll see the file path. Which file, which XML file I want to read it. Over here, I'm going to navigate to the file from here by selecting the select file. I'm going to select my root folder as Power Automate Desktop. And over here, if you see over here, I'm having XML practice. Inside that, I'm having XML files. There you can find it out, students and teachers XML files. Let's select that and click on Open. Now, if you see over here, I'm having encoding as another parameter. Inside that, that I'm having default ANSI, Unicode, Unicode Big Indian, UTF-8. These are all the encoding for the particular XML. All right. Now, once the data has been read from the XML file, it will be stored inside the variable that is XML document. Let's click on Save. Now, to know the flow has been executed successfully or not, what I will do, I will use display message action onto the workspace. I'm going to give the title as XML notes. And after that, I will say message to display as successful. And then I'm going to click on save. Now what will happen, whatever the data we have read it from the particular file, that is students and teachers.xml file, that entire data will be read by using read XML from file action, and that it will be stored inside the XML document. Let me show you that by running the flow. Flow execution started, and you can see the flow has been executed successfully. Let's click on OK. And if you see on my right hand side, I'm having flow variables. Under that, I'm having XML document. Let's click on that. There you can see all the XML information that you can see all the tags, XML information, what we have inside the students on teachers.xml will have all the information over here. It means it is just going to read all the XML from the particular file. This is same as the XML. Let me show you that 
XML which we have seen. You can see this is the XML we are having students and teachers information, right? You can see all the data inside the XML document flow variable. All right. Now, if you see over here inside the XML document, there we are having properties as children, inner text, inner XML, name, outer XML, parent, and value. We will learn each and every property one by one. First of all, what we'll do, we will learn what are the nodes that we are having inside the XML. How can I go ahead and do that? If you observe over here, inside the XML document that I'm having children, nothing but what are the nodes, list of the nodes that we have inside the XML, we'll get it by using the property that is dot children. So there we are having the list of XML nodes which we have. We'll see that. Before that, let me disable this message box right now. To know the nodes which we are having inside the XML document, I will use for each to read each and every node which we have inside the XML node. Let's drag and drop that. I'm going to use value to iterate. Over here, I'm going to select the node as XML document. Inside that, what are the child nodes that we have? We're having children, right? Let me select that. And then I'm going to click on save. Now, to know the nodes, list of the nodes, what we have inside the XML documents, to display that, what I will use, I will use display message onto the workspace. And then I'm going to say it as XML notes over here as the title. And inside that message to display, I'm having the notes over here as current item, right? Inside the current item, I'm having children notes, right? What are the children notes that we have? I'm going to use the name of the notes. I will select it. All right. Now, if you see the current item name that we will get it inside that, let me click on save. And let's run the flow to see the output. What are the nodes that we have inside the XML? Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and you can see that I'm having the nodes over here. If you see the first one is the XML. All right, let's click on OK. And you can see the second one is the students, students teachers node, right? Let's click on OK. Now, if you see over here, Again, inside the students and teachers that I'm having some more nodes over here at the child nodes, that is students and teachers, right? That are the child nodes that we, what we have inside the parent node, inside the students, teachers node. All right, how can we go ahead and do that? For that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one more for each loop over here inside the for each current item. Let me drag and drop this for each inside the for each once again inside the current item over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select the current item at my node. So over here, I'm having the list of items, right? For each will be goes on the iterations over the items, right? List of the items so that I'm going to select child node over here. And then I'm going to give the variable produced as child nodes. All right, let's click on save. Let me drag and drop display message once again inside this for each loop for the child nodes. Let me drag and drop inside that. Now I want to know the XML child nodes so that I'm going to give it as XML child nodes at the title. And what is the message to display inside the child nodes? I'm having the name. Okay. Let me select the child nodes inside that that you will find the names. So by using this child nodes dot name what it will happen you will get the names of the nodes for the child all right let me click on save and then let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see over here if you see the xml once again inside the students and teachers i'm having students inside the student i'm having students and students right so that i will get these things inside that let's click on okay once again now, if you see over here, I got once again teachers over here. You can see these are all the nodes, students and teachers. All right. Now, let's click on OK once again. Now, we got the nodes over here, right? But I want to get the text inside the child nodes. Like the text in the sense, what we have, if you see over here inside the students that I'm having, 
the text as James Smith. These are all the text that I want to get it inside the text. How can I go ahead and get it? There we are going to use inner text as the property for the XML nodes. Over here, I'm going to select another property over here to display inside the message box. That is child nodes over here. Inside that I'm having inner text. Let's select that and then let's save it. And then let's run the flow to see the output once again. What kind of values that we'll get it once you select the property of inner text for the XML. Flow execution started and you can see over here, I'm having James Smith 101 South, all these things from where you got it, this entire data. That if you see over here in my XML once again, now I'm going to check out this entire student details, right? Now, if you see over here, James Smith and the respective address, I got it. At the same time, if you see student two also that I'm having Tom White with the first name and last name and the address is 202. This entire text has been displayed whenever you have selected inner text. All right, now let's click on one second on OK. Now we will get the teacher's information over here, if you see. I'm having Amir P and the address is hoodie Bangalore and the email ID and the phone number I got as the inner text property value over here. All right, let's click on OK. Now we have seen the name property. We have seen the inner text that I will show you one more property over here. That is inner XML. So what what do you mean by that inner XML? Now, whenever you are going to select the notes over here, the student name, you can see inside that also we are having the uh, XML over here for the particular node. If I want to get the XML, if I want to read the XML, how can I go ahead and do that? Simply, I'm going to change the property over here from inner text to inner XML inside the display message. I'm going to select child node dot inner XML. Let's select that and then let's click on save. Now, what will happen in this case, you will get the XML inside the nodes which we have selected. That is nothing but inside the child nodes that we are having some XML that the entire XML will be displayed by using this property. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and now you can see that inside the students, students is the tag that what we have inside that that I'm having student one that is James on James second student I am having white right that is Tom white as the first name and last name right that you can see over here that entire XML has been displayed for the students tag now in the same way we'll get for the teachers also you can see with the tag teacher name first name and last name that you got the entire details over here this is the inner XML. Now you want to get it the outer XML, which is there in the particular child nodes. Nothing but as of now that we have seen the tags with inside the XML, right? Now we will get it with the teachers also. The teachers, and you can see inside that we are having child node as teacher, right? In a such a way that you will get the entire outer XML. Let me go ahead. Let me display that by using the property as outer XML. Let me select the child nodes and after that I'm going to give it as outer XML. Let's click on save and let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and you can see over here that as I said you got it with the students right. Students is the outer XML tag that what we have for the child nodes right. You, you can get it that one also whenever you are going to use outer XML. All right, this is for the students and in the same way that you will get it for the teachers also. Now you can see teachers, teacher, name, these are all the tags for the outer XML, right? Let's click on OK. Now we have seen the inner XML, outer XML. Now I want to display the parent nodes over here, which we have selected for the child nodes, all right? Now I'm going to select the property as child nodes dot parent. If you see over here, what are the parent that we have? I want to get the names over here. So I'm going to select the parent XML node will get it inside that I'm going to select the name. 
All right, now let's click on save. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And now if you see the output over here, what I got it, I got the students and teachers for these nodes. If you see over here, I got the parent node at the students teacher at the parent node name. All right, let's click on OK. And you can see for the both the things, both child nodes that we got it, students, teachers at the parent node. All right, let's click on OK. I hope you understand how to work with read XML from file action as part of this tutorial. And also we have learned different properties as name, parent name, inner XML, inner text, outer XML, and all these properties we have seen as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.